Atlanta, Spencer Dinwiddie did everything he could to keep the Brooklyn Nets compassed in the closing seconds. We've had a little bit of a losing streak, and we had some heartbreaking losses followed up obviously by the very poor showing against Detroit," he said. To come out here and take Atlanta's best shot and still come away with the victory is big time. Dinwiddie had 20 points, 10 assists and 9 rebounds, Jalalakafer added 17 points in a reserve role, and the Nets beat the Hawks, 110-105, on Friday night, Saturday, Manila time. Dinwiddie made the go-ahead basket with 11 seconds left as the Nets snapped a three-game losing streak to move past an embarrassing 34-point home loss to Detroit two nights earlier. Atlanta guard Dennis Schroeder finished with a career-high 34 points, but after causing matchup problems all night with his ball handling, he missed his last two layup attempts and committed a game-ending turnover with five seconds remaining. Dinwiddie, who had just two points against the Pistons, was Brooklyn's spark, recovering from a rough stretch late in the fourth when he let Schroeder glide past him for an acrobatic layup and then lost the ball out of bounds on the ensuing possession. After Dwayne Dedman's three-pointer gave the Hawks their biggest lead at five, Dinwiddie immediately answered with a three with 2.20 left and then took charge at the end. He grabbed a defensive rebound and drew a foul on a fast break layup with 11 seconds remaining. Dinwiddie missed the free throw, but battled for the rebound and got fouled again. This time he hit both free throws to make it 108 105. Like I said, if I don't turn it over as much and miss free throws and the easy end of layups, we ain't even in that position, Dinwiddie said. So it's really a credit to the team for picking me up. Schroeder missed a layup and then was called for traveling on the same possession with five. One seconds remaining. Okafer, in his fifth straight game and sixth overall for Brooklyn, went six for eight from the field in 12 minutes. The Nets acquired Okafer, the no.3 overall draft pick for Philadelphia in 2015, in a trade early last month. I had a lot of easy buckets because of my teammates just dropping the ball off to me and I was wide open," Okafer said. The Hawks trailed by nine in the first and the second, but forced a tie both times. Brooklyn took its first double-digit lead in the third on Tyler Zeller's layup, but Atlanta went on an 11-0 run to take its first lead of the game, 67-66 on Tyler Dorsey's three. Brooklyn's DeMar Carroll started and played 28 minutes after missing the last two games with a right knee sprain. He finished with 13 points. Rondi Hollis Jefferson had 14 points and has scored in double figures in 12 of his last 13 games. Kent Bazemore had 16 points for the NBA Worst Hawks, who have lost five of six. As a competitor, you go out there and give it your all for 48 minutes and come up short," Baysmore said. This is reminiscent of the Clippers game, Sunday. There were eight lead changes and six ties in the fourth quarter. Nets tied a season high with 29 assists. Karis Levert had seven. Carroll and Hollis Jefferson each had three. Hawks, F. Marco Bellinelli, the team's fourth leading scorer, has a sprained left ankle and missed his first game. Nets coach Kenny Atkinson, who spent four seasons on Atlanta's bench before getting hired in April 2016, knows everything about Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer's San Antonio system and vice versa. We're doing more Hawks stuff than the Hawks, Atkinson deadpanned before the game.